Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be checking out Cargo, which is a new 3D asset library for Unreal Engine 5. Basically, if you're not familiar with Kitbash 3D, I've showcased them many times here on the channel. It's essentially a website that sells various 3D kits. Each kit is based off of a theme such as a medieval village, castle, post-apocalyptic world, sci-fi, etc. Each kit has tons of different buildings, props, and stuff that you can use to create a 3D environment or world. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm not sponsored by Kitbash 3D in any way. They didn't pay me to make this video. But speaking of sponsors, you should check out my Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course, Link in the description below. Currently, there's over 40 hours of course content. We create a multiplayer survival game in Unreal Engine 5 from scratch. If you want to learn more, stick around to the end of the video or check the link in the description below. So each of these kits usually retail for around $200 each. And usually when they release a new kit, they are on sale for half off. And sometimes they even come out with free kits, like the one we had a while back, the Mission to Minerva, which I believe you can still download for free, by the way. I have a full video showcasing all of that, so if you want to see it, I'll leave a link to that in the description below. But anyways, today we're going to be checking out Cargo, and I'm just going to save you the full 8 minutes of watching this video. I'm going to cut right to the chase and tell you how much this actually costs, what are the pros and cons of this program, and why it may or may not be for you. So first things first, Cargo is sort of like Quixel Bridge. So if you ever used Quixel Bridge before, it's the same sort of concept. In Cargo, you have access to the entire library of Kitbash 3D assets. Now what this means is every single kit on their website is inside of Cargo. So how it works is you install a plugin to your Unreal Engine project, and with one click of a button, you can import Kitbash 3D assets right into your project. So pretty much the same as Quixel Bridge. So now that you know how it works, let's talk about the price. So there's a few different subscription models that they have to offer, and there even is a free tier. So as for the free tier, you are limited to only a few free assets. And so here are all the things that you get for free if you download Cargo right now. And as you can see, there's all the Mission to Minerva assets, which again, I have a whole separate video showcasing them. So if you want to check that out, link in the description. But they also have thrown in a couple of free assets from some of the other packs, which I think is a really good idea because it's sort of like a sample of what they have to offer. So if you guys want to check that out, you can download this for free and use it in your games or projects, which I think is quite nice. Now for the paid subscription, you're looking at about $60 a month on the annual plan. Now this is the annual plan, so don't mistake this for the monthly plan. This means that if you're going to go with this option, you're gonna have to pay 700 USD up front to get that discount of $60 a month. So a lot of companies do that, you know, where they showcase the annual plan, it's cheaper than the monthly plan because you know, you're paying up front the entire amount. So yeah, that's the price for the annual plan. The monthly plan, what you're looking at is about $100 a month, but you can basically cancel any time. Now, I think everyone here is probably wondering, can I pay $100 for one month and then download as many assets as possible? Now, I've checked you know, Kitbash 3D's website and they have a little Q&A on there. I can't really find anything you know, limiting you on how much you can download other than the fact that you you know, after your subscription runs out, you can't use any of the assets inside of Cargo, meaning, you know, you can't add them to another project. But obviously, you know, if you've already added them to your project before your subscription ended, you can obviously still use them in that Unreal Engine project. Also, you can't share any assets or you can't share your Kitbash account with anyone, uh, but I think there are studio or pro plans if you're working in some sort of team setting. So yeah, that's all I could find on the website. Obviously, if you guys have any other different information, uh, leave it down in the comments down below. But yeah, I'm really interested to see what you guys think about this because in my opinion, I think this is, dare I say, you know, a cheaper solution because originally you had to purchase each kit individually and the price of that would range from you know, $100 per kit, that's if it's on sale, uh, to $200 per kit if it's just not on sale. So I think this offers a lot more pricing flexibility, and it may or may not be for you. I mean, for example, for folks using Unreal Engine 5 for film, this might be exactly what you're looking for because it offers such a massive library of assets that you can just drag and drop into your scene and quickly get the results that you need for a fraction of the cost. 
uh, as opposed to going to the Unreal Engine Marketplace where you have to buy multiple different asset packs to try and get some sort of buildings or props that you might need for your scene. Now for folks creating games, on the other hand, it really depends on what type of game you are making. Uh, obviously, for example, all the Kit Bash 3D assets are fitting, you know, the realistic theme. So it's not really like a stylized sort of thing. If you guys are wondering whether or not it is for you, uh, you can honestly just go ahead and download the free version and check out all the free assets. Like I said, it comes with a couple of different samples from some of the other kits. And then you can check and see, you know, does it fit your game style or not? Honestly, for me, I think this would be really cool to try out the subscription just to try and make some Unreal Engine 5 environments. Let me know if I should you know, purchase a subscription and do some sort of full review video on the assets that you get. Honestly, I have been meaning to review some of the kits from Kitbash 3D, but I just didn't have, you know, 200 bucks to shell out for each kit. So I think this makes it a lot more cheaper to check out all of the kits without having to purchase each individual one. Now that I think about it, one benefit of the annual plan with this is that you can get access to any future kits that are released, uh, meaning that you pay, you know, upfront, say, you know, 700 bucks a year, you get access to all the current kits and each new kit that they release. Now, I'm not sure exactly how often they release new kits. I think they release a new one every single month. But if that's the case, I mean, you get 12 new kits a year, pretty much, on that subscription, which wouldn't be that bad. But yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. I would be interested to see what your thoughts are on this. Will you be purchasing a subscription? Do any of the assets in Kitbash 3D fit your game or your Unreal Engine project? Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, that will be it for this video. Check out my multiplayer survival game course in Unreal Engine 5. In this course, you will learn how to make things like a drag and drop inventory system, a complete crafting system where you can craft all sorts of different items, a harvesting system where you can chop down any tree, rock, or bush that you see on the map. We create nine unique weapons and tools, things like a rocket launcher, pickaxe, hatchet, rifle, bow, and so much more. We create an entire building system where you can build your own bases using foundations, walls, ceilings, and you can upgrade your base from wood to then stone and then to metal. We add a raiding system where you can attack other players and raid their bases for loot. Then we create this open world map that has different biomes, procedural foliage, and each tree, rock, or bush that you see on this map can be harvested for resources. We add things like procedural AI, like this deer that you can hunt and harvest for resources. We also create these interactable structures, things like this refining forge where you can smelt iron ore. We have a crafting bench, storage box, and so much more. This course is currently in early access, but if you enroll today, you'll get a big early access discount. The price of this course will be raised later on, but if you enroll now, you will get access to the entire course and all future lectures that will be added. And once you enroll in the course, you get access to the private Discord server community. So take your game development skills to the next level by enrolling in this course. The link will be in the description below, or you can head over to smartpoly.teachable.com to check out the course. So with that being said, hope to see you guys there.